All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. All of my gym stars, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Listen, the best way to get your defensive badges as a big man, besides swallowing up all the boards and setting screens, you're going to have to get block shots, get big contests, all that type of stuff. I'm going to show you how to do it. Real simple video, real easy video. You can literally get a defensive badge per game once you get this down. Like, once you get your other defensive badges, so obviously you're going to have to get, like, your shooting badges and all that good stuff, right? Look at this game. I had 13 blocks this game doing this method, right? You're not going to get 13 blocks every game. But if you have a team with a weak front line, you can do it. And it's real simple. All you got to do, come down to court. Call half-court trap. Call half-court trap. Leave the paint open just like this. When you see him cutting, get in front of him, square him up. Contest the shot. You're going to get good shot contest. Other times, obviously, you want to you want to screen. Did I hit that? Nope, definitely missed that. He's too big. Um, Other times, you want to set screens, you know, make sure you get what you need. But look. Leave the paint open. Right there, I couldn't leave it all the way open because I didn't know who was cutting. But you really want to leave a lane open every time. And you you really want to bait the person into trying to go up over you. Sometimes they're going to go up over you. It's okay, baby. Ain't nothing 100%. But, yeah, I hit those. Shoot over those. Hold on. Let me let me show y'all something. Let me, let me show, this, show you this right here, man. Shoot over those. Shoot right over those. This boy going to be nasty when I get through with him. Anyway, here we go. You see what I'm doing right here? We got half court traps, so everybody's out. You can call half court press too, but I find that it's just a lot harder to stop them on half court uh, press. So I do half court trap. Leave it open so he'll try to cut to the rim. I want to influence him to cut to the rim, but I want to be there when he cuts. You see, I got this other dude with the back side. Get that shot out of here. So right here, I'm watching two things, right? I know he's right there, but somebody's going to backdoor cut. He backdoor cuts. Is that Chandler Parsons? Get that shot out of here. You come back over, contest the shot. Now, the more badges you get, the better you'll be able to do this. I got 14 blocks this game, man. The better you'll be able to do it. Uh, once you get like Intimidator and all that good stuff, you know, you'll be able to get the good shot contest. Obviously, he's going to hit that. But you'll be able to get good shot contest. You're going to be able to do so much more, more with it. Uh, right now, I got on Rim Protector and Chase Down Artists. Those seem to be like really good as far as me, me doing stuff. Uh, you know, getting the good blocks, getting everything. But look. It's just, it's real simple, man. Leave the lane open. When you see the ball in the air, come over, get the block. It is super simple. Leave the lane, call half-court trap so they pressure, and they're going to make him give the ball up. That's why I call half-court trap. Leave the lane open. He throws it. When you see the ball in the air, you got to be moving. If you move late, you're going to get dunked on. Come over. When you see him going up and jumping, you jump. Get the block. Nice and easy. And when you do this, you're going to get so many points. Like I said, I, I don't know if I showed y'all that. Look, same thing. Leave the lane open. Come out of nowhere. Get the block. Look, leave the lane open. He thought it, it, it's not easy. It ain't ain't nothing easy down. They call it a block. No, nah, this is called a shot contest with Intimidator. Let's see what else happened during this play. And then after you're down there, you just stay in position, get the board, you know, do your thing. It's, 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 it's extra regular stuff, man. It's real Simple. You can get all your defensive badges like this. You can get stupid amounts of points uh, doing this. And really, all you got to do, come out, call half-court trap. Call half-court trap. Let them go to the rim. They're going to try to go up over you. Get a good shot contest. Make them miss. Um, and if you're and if you're lucky, you know, you get a block shot. Same thing right here. Leaving the lane open. Call half-court trap. I get right here where I can try to square them up. Ball in the air. I'm there. Get that shot out of here, boy! Now that y'all see what I'm doing, that part is the part that's going to take time to get the timing and stuff down, though. You're going to have to, you will be able to learn how to see. I'll try to show you right here in this next one. Obviously, I got five. So look, the way that you can tell when they're getting ready to pass the ball, because a lot of times you're going to have to be in motion when they're passing the ball, right? Look, I done done it so much. I can tell, look, they're going to try to throw it back door to, uh, to your boy. Okay, he cut that off. Look, he walks across. I got to be in the lane because I want to be there. Poor Singers takes a shot. We don't care about that, poor Singers. Uh, I wish I had 
exactly the times when they were gonna take shots and stuff like that. But look, here we go. Boom, you see him running to the rim, left, left side guy, and my guy try to go to the rim, I'm there. Get that shot out of here. He goes up, you can get that shot out of here too. Really, what you're gonna notice, the more that you do it and the more that you learn about it, you'll learn when the computer takes that weak ass, subtle movement to the rim, like right? Look, he's gonna turn. When you see him turn and, and, and run at the rim, you know he's gonna pass it, he's getting pressed, you know he's gonna pass it. Step over, get the block. He's gonna come. They can't resist taking that one. Man, you can get that shot out of here too. What's wrong with them? Hell's wrong with them. But anyway, and then, you know, get the board, all that good stuff. But y'all just wanna see, for a game like this, how much how much points did I get? Cause I had a stupid amount, I had what, 22 rebounds, 14 blocks, and some more stuff. So let's see, let's see how much I got. 24,000 for that game. And that wasn't even really a good game. That was a bar. And almost, you know what I'm saying? That's a bar and some right there. You're gonna get that every game running this method. So all you really wanna do, come in, call half court trap, let people go to the rim, you know, get your boards, obviously, set your screens and stuff. I don't even know a screen, if screens even matter. Get your boards, do all that, but call the half court trap, let people go to the rim. Well, we yeah, here we go. Call the half court trap, let people go to the rim, meet them at the rim. I don't know what he was thinking right there, but it's all good. Call the half court trap, let them go to the rim, meet them at the rim. When you meet them at the rim, get the board. Watch, rinse, and repeat, bro. It's real simple. And you're gonna get stupid amounts of uh, points. And then I have to show you this part right here, right? So the game is over with. I want y'all to see how successful this has been for me. It's not a long video, man. I don't want it to be a long video. I don't even want this to be a 10 minute video. Hey, but you can show your appreciation by hitting the like button. If you already knew about this method, I, I'm glad you watched the video anyway, man. Because like I said, it's nothing super new, nothing super nuanced or anything like that. But it is something that some people have been asking me about. Like, they saw me playing. They see how fast I've gotten my defensive badges and how many games I play and how many badges I have. And, uh, you know, they were just like, yo, how you do that? Let me say, say hi to some fans first. Um, they was like, yo, how you getting your badges so quick? So I just figured I'd do a video for y'all real quick, man, and let you guys know. Um, you can get these badges super quick, man. Now, if y'all want to know how you get your shooting badges super fast, I'll I'll do a video on that too. Ninety what a ninety one points and and a bunch of rebounds. Look where I am right now. I had uh I think I got two left. Look, look I got one one defensive badge left to get. So what I got? I got worm on right now. I don't even feel like I need worm. Um, I want to try this pogo stick out. Really is what I really wanna do. See how that go. And then we gonna go from there. But, like I said, look, I got four shooting badges to get, and I have one more defensive badge to get. Look how many games I done played, bro. Look how many games I played. 36 games, this dude is almost maxed out. And I ain't even playing like, I'm not even doing nothing crazy. It's 36 games, and he's almost maxed out. Now I do, you know, you know. Obviously, I'm gonna have to. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna have to do my other stuff. Um, I don't even do defensive practices. I just shoot in practice. But just see, 36 games, and you know, you don't even start start starting to like game what 20? I mean, game 10 or something like that. And I got all my badges. Next game, I have my last defensive badge, and then I got I got four more shooting badges. Next game, I have a shooting badge at the beginning of the game, then I just be working on shooting badges. I don't even be worried about defense anymore, and I'll be good to go. But like I said, man, that's the fastest way to get all your uh, defensive badges. Come down to court. We just gonna recap real quick for y'all, man, and then I'm gonna let y'all get up out of here because it's it's really really super easy, man. Come down to court. Call the half court trap. Let him cut. Get in front get that shot out of here just keep doing that over and over keep getting the good contest do those over and over guarantee you have your defensive badges in no time man and like i said for those that need their offensive badges i'm gonna give you all a little sneaker sneaker preview right here of how to do it but i'll explain the whole thing it's the same thing that everybody been doing man but yeah i messed that one all the way up but it's the same thing everybody been doing man uh if y'all got anything that y'all want me to show y'all how to get the badges like super quick any of them um just let me know man but it should be no secret at this time that this is how you get the defensive badges right here that's it
Let them go to the rim, get blocked shots. Look, let's see how much I got on this game. That's what I really wanted to do. Look, same thing. 21,000 on that game. Damn near a whole badge. See what I'm saying? Don't even know what my stats was that game. What was, what was my stats that game? They gonna show me my stats? Nah, I don't think they gonna show me my stats. Anyway, man, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, Oh, yeah, there we go. 80 points and 32 rebounds. There you go. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, um, that's the easiest thing to do. And if you got any more questions, you want me to do another bass tutorials, let me know. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Holla. I'm about to go holler at the instant burner. I'm out. Peace.